Our final uh, part of number 17 um, says this. Create a new stem and leaf plot for the 2006 data. What is a typical jump for 2006? Um, so let's tackle this very first part of the question first. We have to create a new stem and leaf plot. Um, so I'm first going to set up my stem and leaf. I'm going to have stem on one side and leaf on the other. And then in order to do that, I want to first kind of look at my data and see how it's organized. It looks like to me, it's um, greatest to least, you know, big to small, going from top to bottom. And I'm really just looking at this part. So for my stem, right, I'm looking at um, these first numbers, so 23, 22, 21, 21, 20, 20, 20, 20. So I'm thinking, what stems do I need? Well, I know I need a 20 in there. I know I need a 21, I need a 22, and I also need a 23. So let me go ahead and add those numbers in. And um, it doesn't matter where you start. If you want to start on the um, with your smaller numbers first, you're welcome to. If you want to start with your bigger numbers first, I mean, it's it's preference. So whichever you would prefer to do. All right, so if you're thinking about does the um, like orientation of your stem and leaf matter, like maybe, oh, you know, I was thinking, well, could I do like 23 up here and then 20 down here to kind of match the same orientation of our, our data chart? And um, my quick search um, through Google found that every single stem and leaf plot that I saw online had it in um, least to greatest order. So the smallest number was at the top of our stem and leaf plot. And then um, their biggest number was, was at the bottom. So I'm going to just follow suit. And I think that would be wise if you did the same thing. Because I haven't found any example um, that goes in the other order. Could you still read it? Totally. Would it change your data? No. Um, but I think it's just, you know, one of those things that the math community has decided to always do it that way. So moving on to our leafs. Um, I'm going to start just kind of checking off. So 235 would go right there. And then I'm going to check it off so that I've done it. Next number down would be 222. So I'm finding my 22 in my stem. And my 2 is going to go right there. Check that one off. Now I'm going down to 212. I have two of them. So I'm finding my 21 part on my stem. And to make it 212, I would do a 2. But then I also have a second 212. So I need another 2. Check those off. Um, and then now I'm looking at these numbers here and I'm realizing, oh gosh, like the stem and leaf over here needs to be in least to greatest order, going left to right. So I'm going to jump down and do two, uh, 204 first, and then I will do 205, and then I'll do 208, and then I'll do 209. So that's what our stem and leaf plot looks like once you've made it. And now we circle back to our question, what is a typical jump for 2006? So um, looking at our data, what would be the best measure of center? Or what would be the best measure for your quote unquote typical jump? Well, remember that you can kind of look at your stem and leaf plot like a histogram. And you can take it and you can turn it on its side. <clears throat> And I'm looking at that data and I'm thinking, whoa, is, does it look like I could cut it in half and it would be the same on one side as the other? If I'm asking myself that question, I think no. Um, so I, I, it's not balanced. It's not symmetrical. Um, does it kind of look like the data has been pushed to one side? Yeah, it kind of does. It looks like there's like a hill going down. Um, we call that skewed. And... Um, if we remember in our last problem, we were just talking about scenarios where we use mean and median. The mean um, is great for when your data is symmetrical or balanced. And the median is great when you have outliers or you have skewed data. So I've, we've identified that it's skewed. Now all we have to do is find the middle. You can choose to do it on your stem and leaf plot, or you could choose to do it uh, on the chart. Um, I think the chart's going to be a little easier, so I'm going to start by crossing on my high and my low. High and my low. High and my low. We arrive at these two uh, numbers in the middle. So now I have to find the average of those two. I'm going to add my numbers together. Oops, not 221, it's 
421. And when I have 421 and I divide it by 2, that equals 210.5. So that is the median. <clears throat> and I chose that one because the data was skewed. So I would say my typical jump is 210.5 inches.